Hey guys, welcome to the TYM Pine Fauna Patio. Today I'm smoking my Falcon Straight with a Bulldog Bowl, rusticated, with some distinguished gentlemen in it. Good stuff. It has finally stopped raining here. It's been raining and raining and raining. We had uh, some crazy storm weather here. Um, we had some winds come through the other day that uh, I had to come out here and grab our chairs and stuff and bring them, bring them up in here and put them up against the walls and stuff, and because uh, they were just blowing through the yard, and uh, so I stacked them and put them up against the wall here, and uh, it nearly blew me over. And uh, I mean, literally, I, when I stepped out the door, it nearly blew me off the 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 uh, steps of the coming out the door here. I took down the bird feeder because I didn't want it swinging into the window, and our power went out. Our power went out for about four hours. Luckily, I have lots of lanterns. <laughs> My wife was like, get the lanterns, Johnny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all of a sudden, she's a fan of lanterns. Um, it was out for about four hours. And a tree had fallen. On our street, actually. from what the, the guys told us when we called the There were several trees that fell in different areas. But uh, when we called to just get an idea of how long we were going to be without power and if we needed to go get dry ice and stuff. And they said it would be just a, you know, a couple more hours at that point. They said, asked where we were, and we told him. And he said, now you got a tree down on your street that hit some power lines. And they were working on it. It should have it up in within a couple hours. And it was up within 45 minutes after that phone call. And uh, But they, uh, those linemen, those guys are amazing. They really are. But the wind was just, it was 40 mile an hour winds we got just coming through here. And they were just rocking. I haven't seen winds like that before. And, uh, So I was out, you know, checking everything around the around the property here, making sure we didn't have any trees down or anything like that. Everything was good. And uh, but I just wanted to do a, a, a thank you video here for uh, T 
to uh, old James Stumble. Sent me some black double X from uh, Samuel Gaweth, and this is from 2015. Uh, 428 2015, I believe it is. This the sticker on there says. So this is some old cellared, a good cellared tobacco there. Um, James, thank you. Um, James was uh, was on his live. He was doing some giveaways and. Uh, Old uh, James Mouton won one of his giveaways, and and James told him give it to Johnny Two AM pipe pipe on the patio, and James says nope nope it's going to you you're getting it you won it you're getting it I've got something else I'll send to Johnny, and so that's what he sent to Johnny he says I got something Johnny will like I'll send that to him and so James thank you. Jason, thank you for uh, setting that in motion. And uh, appreciate you both. And uh, it's a. Uh, I'll look forward to smoking that one. another tin of it that's like two years old I think so I may smoke that one first and let this one just keep aging since it's got seven years on it I had a uh, done this video once already and uh, I got talking about those kids in Texas that were shot and uh, I got a little too wound up on that and uh, so I redid I'm redoing this video and trying to maintain my civility and uh, I'm just uh, sending out my condolences to the families of those children. I don't know how old they were. I really don't know how old they were. Uh, Doug Curmudgeon just sent out a, just before I was doing this video, he sent out a text to the prayer chain, the YTPC prayer chain. There's, Ten of us on that prayer chain, and uh, he sent out a text to us to pray for all those kids. Some 18-year-old had gone into the school and shot up 14 kids. And Doug described it perfectly. He said it's just, just despicableness, and. Uh, And I'm going to stop talking about it right now because uh, I will get all wound up again. And, and uh, I really don't want to. And, uh, Went to the doctor this morning, got my uh, physical done. She's got the paperwork for the California DMV in her hands. So she will fill that out and uh, fax it to them.
I'm uh, not confident that <laughs> this is going to get done easily. Uh, dealing with California. So, we'll see what happens. I'm uh, happy to uh, get a little break in the, in the rain here. It's supposed to rain for the next three days after this. So it was nice to have this little break here. We've got about four or five hours here where it says we're not going to have, I know for certain we're not going to have any rain for the next four or five hours as far as the radar shows. It looks like rain, but uh, so it still could rain. But you just never know. You just never know. It's showing rain for most of the week here until Monday. Um, and I gotta mow and it's driving me nuts because I can't get a dry day to mow. And I don't want to mow when it's soaking wet. So Anyway, so that's what's been going on here. Uh, I hope you guys are all well. And uh, uh, I am um, just ask you to. Keep those folks down in Texas in your prayers. Pray for those kids that witnessed all of that. They're never going to be the same. And uh, yeah. I will catch you later. God bless.